So if you're the type of person that's into street photography, you probably know what it's like to, to get that banger shot uh, when you're downtown, when you're wherever you're at, and uh, you're looking for that one person to kind of interact with your scene, and and you just get hyped when you get that one shot you're looking for. Well, today I'm going to be talking about actually going through some of your old street photography photos and pull, possibly pulling out some bangers that you didn't even realize you captured. So let's talk about it. So when it comes to tree photography, at least for me, um, something that I learned from one of my favorite YouTubers, Evan Ranft, uh, is just to really kind of go out and try to at least get you know one banger shot, one one killer shot for the day, and not really end up with a pretty high number of photos by the end of your street photography day. It's a pretty unrealistic uh, goal of yours to get really more than one or two shots that you would really consider to be you know like a banger of a shot, to be really you know a really good five out of five shot. It's just not really like feasible. Like I know there's plenty of other photographers uh, that I follow that will spend hours and hours of, of their day to, to really get one good shot that they want to post uh, on their Instagram or their Twitter or whatever. And they're, you know, they're spending a considerable amount of, amount of time you know, investing into this craft, into this art form, and they're only you know, end, ending up with a handful of shots. Well, today I want to kind of talk about the shots that you're getting, you know, those those really good shots that you're getting without like without intention, right? Those shots that you didn't even realize you got. There's been a handful of times that I've looked through some of my older street photography like sessions and I didn't even realize that I caught some pretty banger shots. Now, they might not be like the best of the best, but at least to me they 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 can, they brought out something in me that that got, kind of got me hyped over something that I didn't even realize I ended up capturing. And I wanted to share that with you guys to give you kind of a reason to, to go back through your catalogs and kind of go into it with a different mindset than you were in that moment. And you never know, you might actually find some photos that you might want to share and post on your social media. So I'm going to go through some of the ones that I found uh, after the fact. And hopefully this will kind of inspire you guys to kind of really look at your photos in a different way and maybe possibly pull out some some new banger shots that you haven't uh, that you didn't even know you found so so let's just jump into the computer all right so these are some of the photos that i ended up pulling that didn't even realize um really what i captured uh in the moment and it wasn't until after the fact um sometimes days after sometimes weeks after sometimes even one of them I didn't even realize I found until a year after the fact. So I've been re reminiscing a little bit on my uh, Japan trip. Uh, I've been been missing it. Definitely want to go back. I really hope uh, things open back up because I really do want to go back and uh, see more of that country. Uh, but this is one of the first ones that I didn't even realize that I captured. Uh, this I ended up cropping it into a square. This was pretty early on in my trip, and I was so kind of overwhelmed with a lot of just a lot of the scenery. I was taking it all in, and I was trying to capture people kind of interacting with different scenes. And I captured these ladies walking by. And this guy ended up coming coming around the bike after the fact, and I caught these ladies perfectly in the middle between the, the headlights of this bus. And I, this was this was one of those ones where I snapped it and then just kept looking at different things, snap another shot, snap another shot, and I didn't even realize that I ended up capturing this one until after the fact, literally weeks later. Um, I came up with a preset uh, for my Japan trip, and I felt like the preset ended up bringing out so much more into this photo. I was always taught that taking the photo is half the work, and uh, editing is the other half. And this is one of those ones, in my in my opinion, that the edit. Uh, really brought out so much more into this photo and again this was definitely one of those photos that I it was kind of in a different mindset at the time it was one of those ones that I didn't realize had so many different layers to it uh, with the you know the headlights the people walking by and the, the person on the bike uh, following them after the fact so this was one of those ones that I kind of fell in love with after the fact and didn't even realize I ended up capturing it the way that I did the second one was just kind of a random quick little shot. I was trying to capture these deer. Um, if you're in Nara, if you're in Japan, uh, there's a city or a town in, in Japan called Nara uh, that they have their main their main uh, thing is the deer. It's kind of like their mascot for the city. They have deer everywhere. And in this park, they kind of roam free. You can feed them crackers and they'll kind of interact with you guys. But this photo specifically, he let me get pretty close to him and I was just kind of capture him in this scene and uh, didn't realize I actually he actually stuck his tongue out real quick uh, when I took this photo this is one of the ones that I found out literally that like, you know as soon as I got home um, I didn't realize he actually stuck his tongue out at me which was it was just kind of a fun moment you know these deer are are not definitely not people shy and uh, 
I thought that was kind of a funny moment, like, he was uh, sticking his tongue out at me just for fun. I don't know. But, yeah, this was one of those ones I didn't even realize that I captured until looking back after the fact. Moving on to the next one, this this was one of my favorite photos kind of of my trip and I literally found this photo literally I want to say a year after, about a year or so after my Japan trip. And looking back at this photo, this is just a perfect example of capturing somebody in interacting with this this kind of scene here and this uh, th with this double alleyway. And I didn't even realize that I captured this. this. I think this photo was captured because I was trying to, you know, figure out my composition, trying to get these two signs in this photo. And this was kind of the example of what I was trying to shoot here. It, it was more of an architectural kind of photo, trying to capture these signs and this double alleyway. I thought it was pretty unique. And I was just trying to take a photo of the environment that I was in. And as I was setting up this shot, I didn't realize I actually caught somebody in the scene. And I think it adds so much more to this photo. Again, just another layer to this photo that I just had a complete different mindset on because I was trying to take a photo of uh, the kind of more of like a architectural photo that I didn't really have like a street photographer's mindset when I took this photo trying to capture somebody interacting with this scene. And sure enough, I got, I got lucky and captured a moment uh, where somebody was in frame and uh, Kind of striking a pose, uh, you could say. And again, just adds this, that extra layer to it. And um, yeah, I, I, this was one of those ones that I kind of fell in love with after the fact. Again, literally a year later, and I had no idea in the moment that I actually took this photo. So now kind of coming back stateside, this was another photo walk that I did out here uh, downtown Denver. And in this in this scene, this was kind of a, like a dumb moment that I didn't even realize. I guess I was distracted when I took this photo, but I was literally standing here trying to find, trying to get somebody walking by. I was hoping actually for a scooter to drive by. And, and these scooters just drive by so fast across the street that you kind of had to be ready and waiting to capture a photo like this. And it was, I don't know if I was distracted talking to my friend or not. Uh, I typically go downtown with a friend and I, this is what I was hoping to capture, and I didn't even realize I captured it. I literally shot the photo, and either he, he must have asked me something or, or what, but um, I didn't even realize I captured a scooter driving by until I got home and I was looking at these photos. So, yeah, he is a little bit blurry. Um, I should have had a faster photo speed to kind of freeze him, but I think that kind of adds to the photo. It adds, gives him another layer that shows how fast he's moving compared to these other cars. Um, but yeah, totally happy with this shot and I didn't even realize that I took it in the moment uh, when I was actually down there. So um, this was kind of, the next photo was the same same day. This was the, su the, the sunset that we caught um, while we were downtown and we were up in a parking garage a couple levels up. And I just caught the top of this building. I thought it was pretty cool with this little like water um, tower thing <laughs> on the top of this building. And these colors in the sunset were just crazy. And I, this is, to me, an amazing photo, an amazing sunset photo. And yet I didn't think anything of it at the time because I was so focused on street photography and capturing people interacting with different scenes that, that I didn't even realize I caught this sunset type of cityscape that I think is an amazing photo that I really kind of want to dive into and edit with. Uh, there's so many colors here that I want to mess with and try to bring out on, on this photo. Um, that I plan on doing pretty soon again just looking back at through these photos and um, yeah again if you're having a different mindset if you're thinking more of a street photography mindset and not like a sunset or a you know cityscape or a landscape type of photo you might not realize what you've captured until you go back to look with again with a different mindset and it could be days weeks you know months later where you're looking back with a different mindset and you might find some gold in some of these older shots that you've taken just because the mindset when you took it just wasn't there. Um, this next set of photos is from a set that I did relatively pretty recently, um, my last street photography video that I posted. Here's a random Starbucks here um, on, on the corner of this building and I was looking through the reflection of the window and caught this bike riding through and I, th and I thought it was pretty cool with all the motion blur and everything and actually how the way I actually caught him in this reflection. Uh, but prior to this, setting up my shot, I caught this guy walking through the same crosswalk and just to kind of, again, just to kind of get that framing and that composition right uh, for the next photo. And uh, when I got this shot, didn't think anything of it. Um, I thought it was cool that I caught somebody, you know, in the crosswalk, but didn't, what I didn't realize until after the fact is that the, the, the logo for this machine 
is perfectly covering up his face. And I thought, I, I thought that kind of added another layer to this photo that I didn't realize or was that I was even going for really when I took this photo. So, you know, even having, you know, a street photography mindset and this is kind of a street photography shot that I didn't realize this one little detail until after the fact when I actually had it on a bigger screen and was able to kind of zoom in on it. And, and I didn't realize that I actually caught, you know, a better shot in this photo, you know, because his face is now blocked. And again, it adds that second layer uh, to this photo where it kind of adds a little bit more mystery to this person in this reflection. So, but yeah, so this is just one of those things that I wanted to share with you guys. Again, having different mindsets depending on when you're taking certain photos, uh, whether if you're taking them just to, to set up a composition or you're taking them because it just happens to look cool and but that's not what you were initially going for you kind of tend to forget about them and uh, this is just one of those reasons why you know you shouldn't really be deleting all of, your, all of your photos that you're not using from say like a photo walk like this because having them saved and kind of going back looking through them you again with a different mindset you could pull out some some new amazing photos that you didn't even realize were there so I hope this kind of encourages you guys to kind of go back and look through all of your old photos and again with a different mindset. If you had that street photography mindset, have a more architectural mindset or a more, you know, cityscape, landscape type of mindset or vice versa. If you were going out with a, uh, if you went out looking for more cityscapes or landscapes, then try to see if you caught some people interacting with those those scenes and those landscapes to, to possibly, you know, pull out a street photography shot. It's just, I don't know, it's just one of those things that kind of got me super excited and I wanted to share with you guys so that you guys can have that similar feeling. So let me know in the comments, guys, uh, look through your old photos and let me know if you find anything. And um, if you're gonna be posting them on Instagram, definitely tag me in those photos. I would love to see some of these photos that you guys have taken and you didn't even realize that you took. So my Instagram and Twitter will definitely be in the description of this video. So definitely again, tag me, let me know. Uh, send them to me. I would love to see what you guys have taken uh, that you didn't even realize you took. Well, that about does it here for this one, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video or got something out of it, which I hope you did, uh, definitely hit that like button. It is much appreciated. And subscribe for more content just like this. I do a lot of photo and video stuff here on this channel. Uh, so if that is your jam, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you guys are notified when I post new videos. That's about it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.